Good Monday morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson with what you need to know to get out the door. Number one, we have this winter storm watch in place and we'll continue to keep you updated with regards to that. Should be transitioning to winter storm warnings for some areas as the system unfolds by the time we get to late today. Your detailed forecast update is coming up right now. But first, my friends at Robert Gibbons Sons want to let you know if you've been thinking of upgrading that furnace and air conditioning unit, do so now and they will throw in a free water heater. Call Robert Gibbons Sons for the details on this special deal. Quality equipment from Bryant, whatever it takes. And let them know Hutch sent you. Thanks so very much. Now let's take a look at what we have going on with regards to this forecast. We're going to start with your forecast for the day today. Number one, south winds. Keeping us mild. Start your day. Temperatures generally near 30 degrees here in the valley. Warmer still out toward the Twin Cities where you start your day in those mid-40s. Cooler with increasing clouds out in Montana. Now that's the storm system taking shape. And by the evening, we'll have... Well, snow in northeast Montana working its way into uh, North Dakota will be some areas of rain that will quickly be transitioning to some snow as we go into the overnight hours. And that sets the stage for Monday night, winter weather and increasing winds. So wind will gust over 30 miles per hour for some. That makes those flakes of snow fly horizontally, which makes visibility an issue and slippery roads will be a fact as we go through. Temperatures though peaking near 50 degrees in Fargo and points south, mid 40s up north. Out to the east, it'll still be 50s in much of central Minnesota, including Brainerd, including Wadena, as well as Fergus Falls, Battle Lake, and on down into Grant County for you folks out there in uh, the Benson and Morris areas as well. Beautiful weather. Seven day forecast shows that Tuesday event starting overnight and by by the time we get to the mid-morning hours, Fargo will see so some snow. Our western counties in Stutzman and out towards the, well, Benson and Ramsey County. For you folks in the Devil's Lake Basin, it starts earlier by daybreak. So snow moving through, lasting for most of the day. Gusty winds increase throughout the afternoon hours here on Tuesday, causing snow and blowing snow. The drive home will be greatest impacted in Fargo-Moorhead on Tuesday. By morning, it's out of here as we head into your Wednesday as it moves out towards Lake Superior. Falling temperatures will dive down into the single digits for morning temperatures for your Thanksgiving Day and for Black Friday as well. Another system looks to be making its way through Saturday as we go through. So Friday night and into Saturday, another system. The track on this one uncertain, so we won't go too much depth on that. Let's talk snowfall amounts. Here's a look at the European forecast model, the American model, and this European model model coming into agreement the american model exploding the amounts over parts of central minnesota even higher than what you see here suffice it to say many areas in the blue here will see one inch to two inches of snow some will see two to four plus get into this heavier band it will likely be narrower than what you see here these medium range models tend to overblow the aerial coverage of the band of heavy snow but some of you will see six or more inches of snow on a narrow band from Lake Sakakawea and the Badlands of North Dakota right into southeast North Dakota. And it really picks up more moisture and intensity with this system as it moves through Minnesota and northern Wisconsin will feel the impacts well into late Wednesday with lake effect snow also impacting the UP. That is a look at what's going on there. Remember, you can get the very latest anytime, anywhere by heading on over to hutchesweather.com. Latest on watches, warnings, and of course, road reports and conditions are brought to you right there as well. Why don't we visit that real quick? So as our weather begins to change, if you want to keep up with alerts in your area, let my weather page here follow you. Hutchesweather.com. Click on my OK Tire Store Road Conditions Report. Any state or province in our region is covered here on this page. But here's another tool you can look at. Go down and it's a snowfall forecast. Snow accumulation forecast by a model, not by Hutch, but it gives you an idea to see exactly what track this storm is taking. So as we put this one into motion, we start to see the snow moving out of the mountains of Montana and the mountains of well, British Columbia pushing its way all the way into the Fargo-Moorhead area as we go into our Tuesday. Keeping you informed is what I do here at Hutch's Weather. Thanks for watching, and I will be back with more updates throughout your day. Your Thanksgiving forecast is set. But the real storm watch is when somebody yells, Are these refs blind? For the tenth time. At that point, you can always say, To be fair, Hutch said visibility might be an issue out there from all of us at Hutch's weather. Happy Thanksgiving.